Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can convert your model's facial expression scan data for use with the Reillusion Expression System. This is a continuation of our Face Tools series where we have a CC based skin head and Kevin Blend Shape Clean Tools already set up. We aligned the positions of these two tools in the previous video, so be sure to watch that one before continuing on. Let's start off by focusing on the Kevin Blend Shape Clean Tool to organize the facial scan data. If we open the layers, we can see the facial expression data included with this model. We need to import this data according to the categories listed in the Face Tools plugin. For example, this layer contains data for both eyebrow raising and smiling. We need to split them into two separate layers so that we can utilize them for the brow raise and mouth smile expressions in the Face Tools plugin individually. You'll often see more than one facial area combined into a single expression as it can be difficult for the source actor to isolate facial feature strengths and also aggregating multiple features into a single expression can reduce the cost associated with the scanning process. Under Morph Target, click the Dell MT button to clear the old Morph Target, then click Store MT button to save the current expression as a Morph Target. Next, I'll hide the Brow Up plus Smile layer and create a new layer called Brow Up. After switching to subdivision level 1, I'll then mask out the area outside the forehead. Switching to subdivision level 1 when masking can help to make the mask edges less sharp. You can blur the mask slightly, then switch to subdivision level 7. Ensure your layer is in record mode, then under Morph Target, bring the Morph Slider to 100. This will ensure that this layer now only contains expression data for raising the eyebrows. That expression is done now, so I can proceed to make another layer called Smile and use the same process. In this case, we're masking out everything but the mouth and chin area to record that specific area separately. Now we can see that we have the smile and eyebrow raise data on two separate layers. Now we want to convert that scan data and input it into the respective face tools presets. Let's display only the brow up layer, switching to the CC base skinhead tool and then click the Append button to import Kevin Blend Shape Clean. Again, it's important here to check that the total number of faces for both subtools is the same. Next, make sure the Kevin Blend Shape Clean subtool is selected and press Ctrl while left clicking on the History panel. The history panel will turn white, indicating that the current model has now been saved as a morph target. From there, select the CC Base Skinhead subtool, then switch to the Brow Raise expression. The layer will enter into record mode. Here we want to switch to the Morph Brush, and then start brushing the surface of the model to conform it to the Eyebrow Raise, then click Brow Raise in Face Tools. Now you can see that we've completed the separate brow raise expression and can now proceed to delete the Kevin Blend Shape Clean subtool. Lastly, we need to project the wrinkles diffuse data. Ensure that no expression is selected and click on the diffuse button to enable the diffuse texture, then click polypaint from texture to convert that texture into polypaint. Click on Diffuse in Face Tools and then the Brow Raise expression. Generally, a brow raise will cause certain areas of the wrinkles to have a reddish tint, with concave areas a bit darker than the rest, which is not present just yet. You can see this when we look at the original scan texture. What we need to do is project that onto our expression. Since we adjusted the characters Diffuse and Wrinkle Diffuse with the same color adjustments during the character creation process, 
I can import that map to the texture map channel and hide it. From there, we can apply that same mask to the forehead and paint any solid color in the forehead area. In this case, I'm using a bright red. I then want to use polypaint from texture to replace the solid color area with the original polypaint texture data. After that's done, you can see the subtle yet important difference in this comparison. From there, click on Update to Character Creator to apply the changes to CC. We don't need to update the base here, but we want to make sure we set a high resolution and only choose the brow raise expression. You'll want to subsequently follow the same procedure for all the other expression templates when updating them as well. Once that's done, you can test out the results in Character Creator. That's it for this tutorial, guys. Hopefully, it was useful for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.